Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2017 Volvo XC90, we're gonna be taking a look at the Kuat Envy 2.0 hitch mounted bike rack. So when it comes to hitch mounted bike racks, uh, you really cannot go wrong with a Kuat. You know, these things are up there with the best and really high quality. I think they look awesome and even better, they're really easy to use. You know, every, every time you wanna ride your bike, uh, it's not gonna be a big hassle. Um, a good example of that is the fact that you can actually fold the rack down even when you have bikes loaded up. Uh, and that's really convenient. Forget something in the back of your Volvo. You're not going to have to unload everything or try to crawl in through the back seat. Nothing like that. We can just fold it down. And all you're going to have to do, there's a lever right there. Kind of just push down on that. Let that come down. And that's going to give you the room you need to open up your hatch and either put something in or take it out. So one of the cool things about this rack too is that it can really accommodate uh, your current situation or your lifestyle. And I say that because we're gonna have a variety of uh, size racks and how many bikes it can hold. So uh, today we have the two bike version, but there's also a four bike version available as well. Now um, you can kind of customize that and because there's add-ons. So let's say um, you know you need at least two bikes, not real sure if you need three or four just yet. Um, you can pick up the two bike version and figure it out later. And if that's the case, you can get the one bike add-on or even a two bike add-on. So it, uh, you always have the option to, to grow into the rack or change it uh, according to your needs. Now with that being said too, there's also three different colors available. So today we have the gunmetal gray, uh, which is probably my favorite. I think it looks really cool. Uh, but there's also a matte black and a metallic black. So you have a ton of options there and you can choose whichever one is your favorite or whichever one matches your Volvo the best. What's also really neat about this setup is you're gonna be able to put any bike uh, that you might have on this rack and that's not the case with every single rack you see out there some of them are just limited to uh, certain types of bikes so what i mean by that is today we have a road bike on the rack does a great job keeping it secure but the wheel trays are also going to be large enough to where you could put a mountain bike in there or even a fat tire bike uh, if that's what you have with the fat tire bike you do need to pick up a, an adapter it's more or less just a larger strap that can uh, help keep things keep things secure, um, but you always have that option. It does also have a integrated lock to keep whatever bike you have on there secure. So whenever you swing by the gas station or get a bike to eat before or after the trails, um, you're not gonna have to constantly peek out the window, make sure no one's running off with your stuff. So a little peace of mind there. This is also gonna secure your bike using a wheel hook and a strap, so really important, especially uh, for those of you that have carbon frame bikes. Whenever you have a carbon bike, you don't want any frame contact because it can damage that frame and uh, everything else. So using a wheel hook, not gonna have to worry about that. It's gonna do a good job of keeping it nice and tight. And the way it works, super easy. So up here, you can push that in and um, lower it down but what I like to do is start at the back I feel like it's just a little more manageable the back it's more or less just a strap so you'll push that in and simply just lift it up and over come back to that wheel hook and you want to grab your bike by the frame because once you undo this wheel hook there's not going to re really be anything holding it up so push that button in lift up the arm swing it down and then you're going to be able to grab your bike go hit the trails and have some fun so whenever you are done um, using the rack more or less i do suggest taking your wheel hook and just kind of lowering it down and folding it in just to help keep everything nice and tight and i figured it'd be useful just to give a couple of measurements uh, that way you know what you're kind of working with and with the rack in this position if we go from our back bumper here to the very edge. Looks like it's gonna be right at 31 inches. So not terrible actually, especially for a larger rack. Um, 
Just something to keep in mind. Maybe you're pulling into your garage or tight parking spot, something like that. Uh, whenever you're not using the rack though, it does fold up and frees up a lot of space. We use the lever here. And like this, it sets up nice and tight against the back of our Volvo. And it looks like this down here is gonna be the furthest point. I'll take that same measurement and like this, it's only going to add about 14 inches. So won't even really notice a, uh, notice that the rack's on the back of your vehicle. So shouldn't give you really any issues at all when you do go to pull into your garage or maybe even that tight spot. So one thing I have noticed with Kuat racks is they usually kind of go above and beyond to make your experience that much better. And they usually add something uh, pretty cool. In this case, we have kind of a workstation. Uh, and it's this piece here. So to use that, what you can do is just open up that lever. You can pull this up about chest level, lock it in. If you turn this knob here, it actually gives you a place to where you can put your bike's frame and you know, you can butt it up to it and snug it down. And that's just nice. It kind of gives you that perfect work spot to, you know, maybe uh, change a tire or adjust your chain or cables or, or whatever the case may be, as opposed to, you know, taking your bike, flipping it over on the handlebars and seat, laying on the ground, tinkering on it that way. It's just nice to have an option here that gets the bike up off the ground and a little more manageable to work with. So moving down here, our rack is going to work with those two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our Volvo. But if you happen to have the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter hitch, not a big deal. There's a version available for that as well. Uh, one thing that I do really like is the fact that they give you a locking hitch pin. Uh, that way it secures your rack to the Volvo. But even better, uh, a lot of racks nowadays you see have a threaded hitch pin. And whenever you do that, it's kind of a pain. I'm not gonna lie, you gotta have a tool, get out, thread it in there, get it lined up. And this one isn't like that. This is just kind of your standard uh, hitch pen here, but it uses a different mechanism to eliminate any rattle or play in the connection point. And if you follow that back, we're gonna have a knob here. And when you tighten this down, what it's gonna do is keep everything really tight and not only provide your bikes with kind of a smoother ride, but also keep the ride inside of your Volvo nice and quiet like it should be. So kind of give you an example of that, say if we're going down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see that the rack is gonna move with our Volvo and not on its own. So at the end of the day, whenever it comes to platform style racks, this is one you really can't go wrong with, you know, looks awesome, super easy to use. And honestly, I think unless I had to take it off, I would probably just keep it on the back of my Volvo. And if you're anything like me, you always wanna see the product you're interested in in action or actually working. So why don't we go ahead, load up a couple of bikes, take it out on the test course and see how it does. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Kuat Envy 2.0 hitch mounted bike rack on our 2017 Volvo XC90.